today I stood up at 3.30 and yeah, I ate breakfast and yeah, packed everything and my clothes, especially my shoes, are still wet but yeah, it isn't a big surprise and now I'm on my way to the airport it looks like I'm in the I'm walking it uh, into the right direction, but uh, I should be early enough. There, the planes there should be really small. So let's see how how they feel. It isn't that big of an airport. I think it only opens in 20 minutes, so yeah. I will have to wait here in the cold outside. <laughs> At the moment I'm in Tramsa and I yeah I have to wait here for six hours. I think that's what I will do, nothing much, just wait. And yeah. In the last plane and in the next plane I can choose my seat freely. And yeah, the last one was kind of a bad choice. I couldn't see the sunrise above the clouds because the motor of the propeller plane was in the way and I didn't sit at the window seat so it was hard to see anyway. Yeah, next time I should sit way in the back. And this was the first time flying in a propeller plane and it was louder than expected and less turbulent than expected. And now I think I will just sit here and wait for a few hours. Den Himmel aus wie ein Zelt, höchstlichen Licht wie ein Kleid. Berge schmelzen wie Wachs vor dem Herrn, vor dem Anlitz des Herrschers aller Welt. Du spannst den Himmel aus wie ein Zelt, höchstlichen Licht wie ein Kleid. I almost forgot Norwegian time. Finnish time.
landed in Helsinki and caught the bus, so it's back home again. I'm back in Hyväskylä. How can five days feel so long? No more snow on the ground, trees everywhere, and it's in the middle of fall here. At the moment I take a break from cycling back home. I'm about five minutes away and yeah. I guess that's it, the journey to the northmost place of the European mainland. See you until another time. Oh, wait. I almost forgot the fun story of the day. So, the last fun story of today. At first I thought, what can be so interesting about one day waiting eight hours on an airport flying three different planes and one bus and then I thought about telling you about drying clothes on the airport and smelly and smelly shoes but yeah it changed a bit because it turned out to be not waiting eight hours on an airport and flying on three different planes and one bus but it were it turned out to be two buses and I totally didn't see that and yeah so I was sitting in the bus everyone got off got off of it and I thought this is an important stop the bus is almost empty and in fact it was really empty besides the driver and me and when he went back he said hey you had to change the bus and i thought okay <laughs> yeah and then he tried uh, he played catch with the other bus that i had to that i had to get on and yeah so i was trying to catch a bus inside a bus and in the end i got into it he especially halted for me it was quite nice, but the bus was already full, so I had to sit on the stair until the next stop. And yeah. Yeah. But the rest I was dozing off in the bus listening music. The rest, uh, the rest of the drive home. And it took half an hour longer because of different kinds of delays, not only me. And yeah. Now I'm on my way back cycling. So that was the last fun story of today. Have a nice week, Benny.